All right. So this next uh, step that we have to work with is we want to be able to calculate um, the percentage of profits. Okay. So I, I've given you this little chart that we have to create, and uh, I created a truncated table, which means that this table doesn't, uh, there's more data like here at this part of the, the table. But um, we want to create this table in the category financial analysis. And uh, what we want to do is calculate these numbers right here. Okay. It's the total profits. So how do we do that? Okay. Um, we'll, we'll go through that. Uh, the reason why we want to do that is because we want to create this stack column chart that's got an idea about the proportions of the amount of percentage of profits that each category has. So here you can see that um, the largest is this blue color, which happens to be sandwich in my data set. All right, but let's start with calculating these values first. So let's go back to our Excel. Let's go to our category analysis. And what we want, um, we want total profits. Okay. And uh, this is going to be the percent total. Is that what I had? Yeah, for percent of profit. I'm sorry. So this is the uh, percent of profit. And um, what we're going to do here is uh, let's match the formatting. This is nothing more than the profit number that exists divided by the sum of all the profit. Because I want this, uh, so by the way, I did this wrong, so it's going to be sum of all that profit. There we go. Uh, I want to make this an absolute reference because when I copy this formula, I want it to maintain that denominator. Okay. I want to now change this to a percentage. I want to add a couple decimal places. I'm going to make it a single decimal place and then just move it down. There we go. So those are my numbers, right? And I, I purposely put them off to the side a little bit. Um, because I knew that these would be calculated separately. Right. Now, um, when you print this or when you put this into your PDF, be sure to include this. Um, by the way, I did have some questions as a side note. How do I make sure all this fits in? You should be able to go to page layout, go to width, and not do automatic, but do a one page width. And if you really want to squeeze it, you can come over here and set print area to be just specifically that area. If you do that, notice um, you want to make sure this total profits doesn't get cut off, right? So those are some ways of making sure everything fits onto one page, right? And of course, your orientation needs to be landscape in order to be able to accommodate that. All right. So I've calculated my percentage profits. Now I want to create that, um, that chart. So let's kind of go look at that chart one more time. So this is a stack bar chart. Now, I, I'm going to tell you that this is a pretty complicated chart, and some of the details about this are very important. Okay, So um, I, I will talk through some of the visual analytics theory that goes into why this chart is so important. Now, commonly, what people used to do um, is make a pie chart that would do this. And the reason why a pie chart is um, less effective is that in a column, a stack column chart like this, we can easily tell when the data is sorted from least or from greatest to least, what is the greatest item and the least greatest item. Now with a pie chart, people do really well to figure out if a pie is cut in half. They could say, oh, this each side is about 50%. Also with a pie chart, um, if you did something more like this, they can easily say, well, this side over here on the left is greater. However, when you have pie charts that have multiple slices, what happens is people start to take a look at these slices over here and they have a hard time of determining which is greater. They typically can tell, um, if 
you have, let's say, a large slice and then a lot of other smaller slices, that this one over here is greater, but it's hard to tell them all apart. So um, there's a, also human beings have an innate ability to be able to determine length, the differences in length, but we really have a hard time to deal with slices that um, slices of pie when they're not organized in exactly the same way. So uh, there, there's some um, visual acuity there as well is why we do this. All right, enough of that. Um, let's get to creating this um, stack column chart. All right, so what we're going to do is I'm going to select the category and I'm going to select our percent profits. I'm going to insert. I'm going to go to column chart. I want a stacked column chart. Oh, what I want is not there. I'm going to go to recommended charts again. Go to all charts, stack column chart in this particular setting. And the one that I want is the second one on the right. Okay. So if you're not seeing, if you're only seeing this uh, column chart in this fashion, go to recommended charts like we did. Go to all charts, column chart, select stacked column. And the second one should be there. Okay, that's the one I want. Now I'm going to move this to uh, my trend charts. And then I will place this in the location that I intended. Right. And now I have to start making some modifications because it is not set up the way that I, uh, I'd like it to be. So the first thing is um, I want to um, include, well, actually, let's go back here. Okay, I want to include um, this vertical access title. I do not want any kind of horizontal access. I want the legend on the right, and then I want these percent values to be there to identify, and I want total profit by category as being the, the header. So let's do the things I can remember. Um, <laughs> let's so, uh, I'm going to want the legend to the right. Okay. And then I want the access title on the vertical, but not the primary. Now, notice you might have a, a primary title at the bottom. One way of uh, dealing with that is just to hit delete and it'll get rid of that. All right. I want to format this access. I want the maximum to be a value of one. And I also want the number to have zero decimal places. 